everyone. We're just going to show you uh, one of our new smaller album sizes, the 8x7. And we've actually used the lovely papers from the Pink Ink Designs, the Elephants and Flamingos collection. So this is a very straightforward, what I would call a simple album design, but the papers complement it beautifully. So that's the front cover. And then we've continued on to the spine. And of course, there's some glossy accents there because it'd be rude not to. Obviously. And then the back here. Okay, and because this is quite a light paper, I haven't actually matted it on. I think, oh yes, I have matted it on. I thought I'd just put black marker pen around, but I have matted it on here. So that's it. And then there's lots of images that you can cut out, so it's a little bit of fun with the giraffe popping out at the front. So we'll go in. And then your inside cover here, as usual, I tend to mirror it a little bit. These pieces are cards that fall out. And the back of pink ink papers are plain, they're not double sided, but that's lovely if you want to put your pictures on, write a little journal note, things like that. And I love the elephants. So that's that one there. Put that one back in there. And then this side, got an elephant, and we've got an elephant looking this way. More glossy accents, of course. Page one is a simple lift up flap, and that's our debossed page tabs there. Just a little mat in there, and again, they're playing on the back, which is perfect for um, putting your photos and things like that on. Again, I've cut out a giraffe there. I like the borders as well, there's borders, there's all sorts of things, so you can do lots of things with these papers. Page two here. And here you can see I've cut out the elephant, I've mounted him on black card and the little flamingo. This one I've done a little L-shaped tuck-in pocket and I think that's, yes that is, there's also a pocket there if you wanted it. But it all worked, all the pages just work brilliantly together. The colours are beautiful together. They're lovely aren't they? Aren't yeah. they? And really of course bright, that's, our, and that's our fuchsia uh, architect. Yeah, it the works edge. really well with it. It does, doesn't it? So this one here is now again I've done paper matching here so I've just continued the page across I've got a little slot tuck in there and then I've cut it up and just made it into a flap that's one of our little um, pierced circles um, curved slot dies and then another little pocket there but, and again I've paper matched there so on this side I've just done a little tuck in comes out there again I've paper match but you can see this page here is a smaller version of the image here so it's lovely it's really clever can you see it all mm. works together yeah, does it yeah, yeah all works together beautifully there's not too in your face it's, just, it's quite no, subtle and you, yeah. I, I really enjoyed working with these oh and I forgot to say there are pockets in each pages to put more bits and pieces in but I haven't got around to that yet so this one here we've got two giraffes looking at each other glossy accents again and then the pockets open up different ways and then you've got little tiny pockets here and then you've got a big one here let's just close that down this one here you've got a Mexican flip flap in there so that's the paper all one pattern there open it up got a nice big flamingo then open it up this way got another little pocket here and this is what I'd call a very um clean album does that make sense mm. but you know what I mean so very clean lines very straightforward easy to do that's another pull out yeah, one there. is probably the word you want to yeah. yeah so this one here is a, a wider pocket and then here at the end I've actually this is one complete page and I've just cut into the elephant and then that's a tuck in there behind there and that's there so if you've got any of these papers, I'd say have a go because they were really, really lovely to work with. Thank you.